As an Instagram marketer, I have found that editing a reel within the Instagram app can sometimes be the hardest part of the entire process. We've got glitchy text, disappearing drafts, trouble with trimming. All of these glitches and stressors are why I've come up with my own editing system to save my sanity and my content during the editing process. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my entire Reels editing process that's gonna take your Reel from good to great without accidentally deleting the whole thing and having to start over from scratch. I have my Reels drafts open up right here, but before we even start editing, I'm gonna double check that I have backup copies of these Reels saved onto my camera roll. And if you're not sure how to do that, check out my video right here. Let's go ahead and edit our first Reel. So I'm gonna open it up and then I'm gonna tap the edit button, okay? So this brings us back to our production screen. Now I need to add the text. So I'm referencing my Asana card. It's just open on my laptop over here. And I'm going to start typing in and adding the text. All right, now that the text is all in place, I'm going to set the timing of the text. So the very first one at the top, the title that says the top three Instagram features for business, I want that to stay on screen the entire time. So I'm just gonna check my borders right here, the blue lines, and it looks like I am in place. I'm good to go there. Next, I want the number one place, the number one tip to appear when I point to that area. So you can see down at the bottom, I have my text clips right down there and I've just tapped on the first one. And this is where I'm gonna set the duration of my text. So I don't want it to appear, so I'm gonna take my cursor right here. I don't want it to appear until I point, there we go. That should be fine. And then I want it to stay on screen for the rest of the time. So now I'm gonna to go to my number two tip and same thing, I'm gonna drag my cursor and then right when my, my finger gets to that same area, I'm going to stop. And then the third point. So again, I want this to appear at the end and there we go. All right, now I'm gonna hit done and let's watch it back. Pretty good and pretty quick too. So this reel is basically edited. There's nothing fancy that we're doing with this one. So again, you're gonna hit the downward arrow at the top and you're gonna save without audio, just in case, always good to have a backup. Then you're gonna hit next and then you're again going to save it as a draft because we're not publishing right now. In this step, we are simply editing. Okay, so one reel done, let's continue our editing process for the next reel. So let's tap into the reel and hit edit. This is the wow clip. So now I need to add text on screen while I'm, while, while I am saying wow. There's one other aspect I wanna show you before I get into this step, and it's the edit clips button. So you can see here, there's only one clip. This is a pretty straightforward reel, but I have the option to add clips. So if I look at the top right here, the red, you can see that I haven't filmed or recorded clips for the entirety of the audio. There's still room to record. So I'll hold my phone at a more flattering angle. If I wanted to add additional clips, I could. So let's just add in a clip for demonstration purposes. That's it, okay? I'm gonna show you some cool things you can do with this second clip. So let's go to preview. And now I've got this additional clip. Now, of course, I can always go back to edit clips and I can even reorder them if I want. So I can drag this one around if I wanted to, but I don't. Um, and I can continue to add more clips. So if I hit that button, I've got more room to record right here. Um, down right here, the bottom left is also where I can access all my clips too. So again, I can go back to all clips or I can delete the one that I just filmed. Now I do find that Instagram changes up these features quite often. These features in particular, I only recently got. So you might have them, you might not, but continue updating your app and who knows, maybe Instagram will gift these to you. So one thing I wanna show, show you, especially while you're editing, is when we go into the preview area, if you tap the music icon, you'll see that there's a couple levels that we can play with. There's the camera audio, 
And then there is the audio with the clip that we used. Now, you also have two more options at the bottom. You have the voiceover ability. So remember this clip right here where I'm not saying anything? I can actually add a voiceover for this section if I wanted to, wow. or I can add sound effects. So crickets, evil laugh, flashback. These are all relatively new features from what I've seen in my account. So there's lots to play around with. So what I'm going to do before I decide what to do with this clip, whether I want a sound effect or a voiceover, I'm going to edit the first clip with the text that I had in mind, and then I'll see if I can come up with something good for that second clip or I'll just delete it. So let's hit done. And now I'm back on this first clip. I'm going to add my text on screen right now. All right, so I've added a few updates. I think there's a couple more that I want to add as far as what's a wow feature. So again, I'm gonna go through the process of timing all of this text on screen. I want recent Instagram updates to stay on screen and then everything else like IG live scheduling, I wanna time that to appear with one of my wows. So I'm just gonna draw, drag my finger. So it looks like my first wow is there. I'm gonna move it here. And again, always check your borders, the blue line borders. Let's go for the next one, collabs. So that one is gonna go up here because that's where I'm looking. Okay, next one is desktop publishing. So that's my third wow. Okay, I did a lot of wows right here over my face. <laughs> So in that case, I'm gonna go into the text, tap into it, hit return between the two words, and that makes it a little bit smaller, which is better for me. Now let's go to link sticker for all. That's down here. And then meta. Okay. Let's hit done and preview it. Wow. 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 All right, I think there's a couple wows that I missed and I also need more wows to add. But now I've got to decide what am I gonna do with this clip? So I think that clip is a perfect opportunity to add in a call to action. So I'm gonna actually go back, edit all the durations of these, these little text updates. I'm gonna remove them so that they don't appear over this clip. So now by the time we see this clip, it's free, it's empty. And what I wanna do is add a voiceover, okay? So just because I did a bunch of edits, I'm just gonna hit next and save as draft just to be on the safe side, I'm a little paranoid. Now I'm gonna go back into it, hit edit, and now I'm gonna hit the music icon at the top and I'm going to go to voiceover, okay? Cool feature. I'm gonna drag the cursor to start where my second clip is, the colorful, colorful, colorful shirt. And now I'm going to hit that record button and speak. So my voiceover is going to be, for more Instagram tips for your business, follow me, Elise Dharma, and then hit done. So now I have my three audio levels at play and we'll hit done. Now this is a great time to add more text to reiterate my voiceover. And now I want this to appear with this clip. And maybe I wanna remove recent Instagram updates because it's right on my forehead. <laughs> so I'm gonna remove it so that it ends here. There we go. Next, and we're gonna save as draft. Always save as draft. All right, let's review it one more time. Hit edit. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> For more Instagram tips for your business, follow me, Elise Dharma. Wow. Now adding that second clip at the end, it kind of changes up the vibe. So if you're not feeling it, you can absolutely go back and delete it. But I thought I'd show you that voiceover effect because it could be really great, especially when you have a reel that pulls together multiple clips and then you want to add your story through your voice over top of all those clips. One more reel to edit, let's go. And it's this one right here where I took nine takes. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my text and then we're going to set the duration for it. 
So with this text, I have added quotation marks because I want it to come across like it's a question someone's asking me. Now notice there are quite a few features at the bottom and the top to adjust how your text looks. So this is similar to text in your stories if you're familiar with that. So you can simply drag your finger and choose the font style that you like. And then when you see the A with the sparkly at the top, that will remove or add a background. And of course you can change the color of the background by choosing the color wheel and you can choose a color from you know the wheel options or you can use the eyedropper tool and choose a color that is similar to what's going on in your video. There's also the text align button so I usually like to keep mine centered and then at the end is the animation button. I usually don't use this too much for reels but it depends on the vibe that you're going for. So lots of text options right there. One other feature that I wanna show you that's also similar to Instagram stories is if you hit the square happy face, you're gonna see some GIF options and sticker options that you've also seen in stories. But one really, really handy option is the captions sticker. So the caption sticker typically works for a talking head based reel. So if you're talking on camera and you want to add your captions as you're speaking, use this sticker. For this particular reel, because I'm using an external audio clip, I believe it's not working, but I can always type it in. So I can say something like, I took nine, right? Yeah, so I can manually add in those yeah, captions yeah. and I can go I ahead and repeat exactly what I'm saying in this entire clip. There we go, let's preview it, my quick caption style. I took nine. I took nine. Yeah, I, uh, I did, I think, slightly overcommit. So the reason why you might wanna take that time to add in those captions manually or with the caption sticker is because A, a lot of people watch their reels with the sound off and B, it makes your videos much more accessible for those who are hearing impaired. Now that we've edited this last reel, again, we're gonna hit save draft and now we have just completed three edited reels. Woo! Now that you've edited your reel, yes, you, I hope you're editing along with me, check out this next video here where I'm gonna show you how to do the final publishing steps. Everything from your cover image to your caption to make your reel ready for publishing and to give it the best chance possible at going viral.